Hello, my name is Shelley Woodward. I am one of the Spanish teachers at Greater Atlanta Christian School in Norcross, Georgia. I teach third, fourth, and fifth grade Spanish, as well as Spanish A and B to seventh and eighth graders. My project for this semester was to design and develop flip charts using the Active Inspire software for my new textbook series. There's a resource for people who use active words called prometheanplanet.com and my textbook series is brand new this year and one of the things that I like to do at Promethean Planet is to share my ideas and use other people's work in my classroom it kind of saves myself a step and as I was learning about my new, my new textbook I realized there were only four resources for my textbook available on Promethean Planet, and that's just not acceptable to me. I, so I, my, I decided my project was going to be to create a series of flip charts that correspond with my textbook. And um, I designed the, the front page of each flip chart to look like the textbook so that people would look at when they look at it, they would recognize what it is, and students as well. It gives it a very cohesive look. They can tell when they look at my work that, oh, well, this is the same girl that did the other ones. So I've already noticed that several people have downloaded more than one of my flip charts. One of them has already been downloaded 32 times. I was very excited to see that. So there is a definite need for my project out there. And it's nice to know that my students and I are not the only ones benefiting, but teachers around the country and even the world. It's an international site. Here you can see that the students, they really enjoy using it. They are always volunteering. It's just a wonderful resource to have in my classroom. Active Inspire is actually a very involved tool. I have there, I've learned a lot about it. In fact, I'm considered one of the experts in my school on it right now. I am able to do a lot of things that basically the beginning of the semester I was using it as a glorified whiteboard and I was really not using it to its full benefit. Now I'm able to quickly design flip charts. It was not quick at first, but I'm able to design effective instruction for students and things that really get them thinking and interacting with each other and with their subject matter. And here you can see a student has made an error. On, he didn't mean to. It was an accident. And we've got another student who saw the error, and they've, they kindly, that's the operative word there, he was able to fix it. And I have the ability to restrict and only allow the correct answer to be given. And I've done that on several of my flip charts. But for these specific activities, I created it so they're allowed to make errors and really think through their work. I think there's a lot of benefit in actually making errors in the learning process. And here's something where I've created use, using containers. What, what Chloe is doing in this video clip is at the bottom we have all of our vocabulary words and she's categorizing them. If it's in the correct place, it stays there. If she tries to put it in the incorrect place, it'll snap back. This has been a brief look at my project. Thank you for viewing it and I hope you've enjoyed it.